Thanks for joining us for Six on Your Side. I'm Michelle Edmond. And I'm Don Nelson. Our top story at 10, finding hope in our local opioid crisis in a precious newborn. A team at St. Luke's Hospital is making sure pregnant mothers who have a substance use disorder get the best care possible. And tonight, a brave mother shares her story and introduces us to the son she did everything to protect in this Finding Hope update. He came out just to screaming. Meet Liam Jess Vetter. The four pound, 13 ounce preemie was born at 34 weeks, but it wasn't his early arrival that worried doctors. They were on heightened alert, watching for symptoms of withdrawal. Sarah is a former meth and opioid user. When she got pregnant, the LeGrand, Oregon mom sought out help from a clinic at St. Luke's Hospital. Dr. Seib and his team specialize in treating pregnant mothers with substance use disorder. We first introduced you to Sarah back in May when she found out she was having a boy. And then this one right here is my favorite because it's his face. Sarah wanted to make sure she stayed sober during the trials of pregnancy. So Dr. Seib prescribed buprenorphine. The medicine cuts cravings for opioids, and studies show it does not cause birth defects. If we're not taking care of mom, you know, everybody's always worried about, oh my God, look what I'm putting in my body. Well, you know, but what you forget is if, if you're not healthy and you're doing unhealthy things, uh, like maybe using drugs off the street or maybe uh, doing, uh, you know, getting high and then withdrawing, you know, those types of things really are what put the pregnancy at risk. He's been doing amazing and I feel great. Infants can experience withdrawals from buprenorphine, which is why Liam is closely monitored in the NICU. But so far, he's acting like any other preemie. He hasn't had any signs, so yeah, he's He's perfect. In six weeks. Okay. Throughout Sarah's pregnancy, Dr. Saib gradually lowered the dose of buprenorphine. Sarah says she stopped taking it completely the week before Liam was born. You know, and for anybody to say that mom's on this medicine, that the babies are not safe or healthy, I beg to differ because I took that medicine for a good portion of my pregnancy and I don't know, to me it looks like a pretty perfect baby. He's doing really good. Liam Jess, or LJ, as his family calls him, is thriving. Sarah says her pregnancy and the care she received has made her a stronger, more confident mother. He's just so in love with him. <laughs> He's so mm -hmm. sweet. So Sarah plans to continue to get counseling and work with her sponsor. Dr. Saib says pregnancy is a time when women are motivated to change. And that's why the St. Luke's Clinic is working tirelessly to overcome a stigma of addiction and treat substance use disorder as a disease. And Six on Your Side is committed to finding hope. You can see all of our stories from our year-long series focused on the opioid epidemic at sixonyourside.com. And by the way, if you have a story idea for us, send us an email or a Facebook message.